All right, and we are back. So let's get in here, get our 10 tickets done for the day, and let's check out the first team before we just start random going at it. So it doesn't look too bad, even that middle team. So let it go, let it fly. Kind of see if we go through this and make sure you guys are checking out. Uh, if you're a newer player, we got some videos coming out soon um, for new players to follow along with, as well as hopefully next uh, uh, week, or actually it might be this week if I'm being, being honest. We might get the update this week. We've got a new continent to go through. We might just uh, burn through that and I'll record my thoughts as I go through it. Um, check out all the new things that are coming down the pipeline because again this is the perfect time to be playing monster super league because the anniversary is going to be a fun it's always a fun month and it's always uh, a lot of free uh, goodies that is going to come down the pipeline plenty of gems plenty of astromon selection cards all the the goodies that you would expect anymore so um, I actually don't no, it's a good. Okay, we'll take that. That works. We also have the uh, anniversary Astromon that's going to be coming down the pipeline as well. So it'll be fun to go for the capture festival for her as well. I already forget her name. <laughs> Which is just par for the course, considering didn't pay too much to the to the story. But I am going through that uh, again on the new playthrough, so or the new account, I should say. It is still kind of a playthrough. But that capture festival comes out. We'll definitely be running through that. I don't know if I'll stream that one this time or not. But definitely be fun to try and get the first on the leaderboard again with that one as well. Going to have to be running, though, quite a bit to keep up with it. But who knows? Always try to do that on the anniversary just for its its fun. And we'll probably be doing the dailies. Um, once again, for everyone who's looking out for those, we'll probably be doing those dailies uh, for the month of the anniversary just to do them. Because I know some of you guys really enjoy that. And it also gets you motivated to do your dailies as well if you are a long time uh, long time player like me. Let's see. I uh, I guess still have to just go after Mona. Yeah. There's just a couple of choices on this team where if we don't get the crowd control, you know, Yuki is just gonna die. That's just par for the course. Um, uh, we'll just pile it on here. No crits. Oh, well, we'll just take him out. Every time Imper Auto comes to the middle and wants to do an attack, I always think he's doing a, um, his special ability and I'm like dang so why didn't I and I, I always check the bar saying that I didn't he doesn't have it it's just a weird thing to have it move to the front to to do that normally only Astromon who are doing their SP actually kind of move out and attack that I can think of off the top of my head But yeah, those of you who guys are new and wanted to be following along with a new account, that's going to be coming up on the channel. Um, again, the biggest thing about that, I'm not going to record every little bit about that, and I do explain that in the video. But it's also just, it's a lot of waiting to log in to get the, get the things to talk about it. So you guys just have to be patient with me as I get through the game and I get through those recordings. So that you can kind of uh, keep up, so to speak. And then once I get to the Astromon, you know, to talk about. Because I could do that on my main account and, and tell you guys that. But I feel with a new account, eh, it's a lot easier to show it uh, with a new account than just be like, 
this is Water Valkyrie. This is why you're going to pick her for your hero's contract. Whereas if you guys see it, you know, we get her and you see me build her and talk about how what you need to go do for it. It's a little bit easier than than how it is to present on there. So let's take fire. Okay. I could just take him out, but I'd rather just take the shocks here. And we'll go through each of the contracts again. I will log in each day for it as well. They didn't break that bastion at all. Um, talk about why you're going to pick the Astromons that you are, um, etc., etc. And don't feel too bad if um, you're already into your account a little bit and you, you know, you didn't get whatever I suggest or, or stuff like that. Because I always say this with uh, anything on Monster Super League. I am 100% not the be-all, end-all. I have my opinion. I have the way I build things. And I approach it in a way of... And, and I want you guys to know that. I approach this in the way of... it's. This is a conversation. If I'm... I'm always open to hear other people's suggestions and talk about it. And again, somebody out there might be like, do this for this reason and it's better. And there's been cases and points over the years that I've now had my YouTube channel that, yeah, again, I'm not the be all end all. And I'm not, I am not an authority on this game whatsoever. I'm a very casual player. I know how a lot of the systems work, but I also don't do a lot of the stuff in the game. And that's to my own, uh, well, how would I put it? Like, that's my own... I choose to do that you know I I'm, I'm very casual because I choose to be casual not not trying to spend any money in the game and stay free to play because I enjoy that quite a bit um I'm gonna guess that Yuki came out and this person is missing their since it's a heavy it was what dark dark with this I kind of think uh, it's hard to choose. I think it was either Water Persephone or uh, what you call it, Dark Kraken that came out. So, but yeah, going back to what I'm saying here is like, like I said, I am definitely not the be all end all. I'm always open to you know other people chiming in and correct correcting me if I'm wrong or telling you know helping out people who ask questions in the in the comments down below. I'm always, always down to, you know, again, give out advice and help. And then correct any mistakes that I have given out there. Because I will tell you that is the one thing for me uh, on the internet that bothers me the most is giving out the, giving out wrong information. Because just like you guys, I am the same way. When I want to go look for something or look up information and somebody gives you a guide and it's not and it's it's wrong you know it's it's very frustrating because sometimes you just want one thing and well that's that's there sometimes you don't get the information that you actually wanted which kind of defeats the whole purpose of making a guide uh, i guess we could do that uh his might not be up oh he wasn't okay okay we're good we're good um, I don't want Cupid to get his off, so I'm going to do that, and then auto. But yeah, hopefully you guys look forward to that. And that will be coming down the pipeline as we roll into the anniversary. There we go. And again, if I miss something that you did and I don't cover necessarily, I'm going to try and cover a very broad, um, uh, a broad of topics for Monster Super League with the new account. Um, again, if I miss anything that you didn't get covered in a specifically in a video, again, don't uh, don't worry. I'm probably going to cover it. It's just again, it takes time. You have to. I can't just jump into every little thing with Monster Super League because obviously I have to play. I have to play the account. So. And with uh, several uh, key things being locked behind you, not just progressing in the game, but also logging in. I mean, again, I can't can't help you if I don't have the Astromon, you know, on the screen on the account to show you. So just be patient with me. I think I want you to be shocked. Yeah.
can't get through the Bastion set. Uh, let's just go back. Mona's gonna go down. Wow. Supposed to go down, but Arthur just can't get a crit. Well, that's interesting. Yikes. Well, there went that idea. That was a pile-on if I've ever seen it. And 100%, um, this game, I was thinking about it uh, after uh, it was a comment made the other day that, you know, when you think about it, too, with things that are going to be changed and, and whatnot, like, I couldn't imagine what, I mean, I guess I can because it, it was, it, I'm not going to say bugged uh, a while ago, but... What it would be ch different is if your uh, SP siphon off of your your Astromon in these PvP battles, how much the game would be changed if they went through shields and whatnot. So you got through, you know, the Bastion. It didn't go through, like, the Bastion set. And I, I remembered the day that it did and how we came in here and on the Champions League, everybody had Bastion sets off from the world boss. <laughs> it was so... It was it was funny, but what's what's interesting about that, and maybe that's something that can be done for the Champions League, kind of like what they're doing for the regular Astromon League, which is you know they change it up. They have you, we've had SP week for the longest time, but they change it up where three star Astromon have a much higher boosted statistics, which is cool. Um, the SP week, you know, doing things like that where different Astromon maybe are more viable to use and you can kind of throw them in there. Something like that can be done for the Champions League where I think, while yes, I'm not the only one that didn't like not being able to uh, SP siphon through a Bastion set and watching entire teams come out with it, but I think it'd be, I think that's something that, ch that they could change up that would maybe make uh, Champions League a little bit more interesting too uh, just because again I like the whole format of it yes there's a lot you have to do to make up a good defense team so you need a lot of Astromon and even even as an attacker you need you need at least eight Astromon fully fully ready to go in order to really compete so to speak in um, in the Champions League, and I would argue I don't even really compete. I'm just glass canning, cannoning it and uh, hoping I win. Oh, let's just do this. But yeah, it would be interesting to see something like that brought back where different different things are like removed because we already have banned Astromon, and that's fun, but at the same time, you know, SP Siphon doesn't work anymore, or you can't be shocked, right? Imagine what my middle team here would be is if I couldn't use shock anymore. And so maybe you gotta, you know, shift your team over to using a sap composition or a curse. You know, when we talk about skills need that need two skills in my my opinion that need to be re-looked at to bring them back up to help make other Astromon more, you know, powerful or viable and I've said this one from the beginning. Uh, I'll leave that to the last after this. But, like, the aggression, I'll talk about that. You know, that needs to be, I think, revamped. But curse. I tried to make a curse team a long time ago. And curse still works, but it just doesn't... It's not on par with um, sap. It just, it just isn't. And it would be very interesting to have, like, again, being able to use the Astromons who do curse and have, being able to stack that up. Um, that would be a really uh, another cool, you know, update to the game as far as one skill I really like, and I wish it would work just because I obviously put the time in to make that curse team, and it was, uh, for better words, le poop. So, um, but longtime viewers of my, you know, dailies, um, and I guess you could say this is just because of my favorite Astromon, but at the same time, it's. Aggression has always been, whether it be, you know, HP defense or defense aggression, I think those are 
those would help bring back a lot of Astramon that get hard capped with the their HP so high. So like Hanahime, for instance. Yes, she's a recovery Astramon, but it would be a world of difference if she actually hit really, really hard, right? That would change a lot of dynamics, I think, because then your your healer on your team is actually doing, you know, damage. Does that come into the what I've been talking about, though, to, to think about how to balance all that? Yes, you know, I haven't thought that one completely through. It's just an idea, but that's the kind of thing I mean is changing skills around that are on so many different other Astromon, you, you get an, a better idea of you get more variety out of your teams instead of telling people, you know, well, you need to just pull this one Astromon and then you win the game kind of thing, which is how I feel with uh, <laughs> Dark Persephone, because once if a Persephone Primo Festival, and this was just general advice for new, any new players who are watching me right now, I would save all of your gems, all your summon tickets, all that kind of jazz until, like I said, Persephone Primo Festival comes up and then get a Dark Persephone and get it Ultimate Evolved and you will just win the game. It's kind of funny that, that so much is put on this Astromon like that, but she really does. There's no one else that really holds a candle to the amount of damage this Astromon puts out. Um, there are others out there that are better, uh, that are a little bit better, have a little bit better kits, but as far as what, she, like, again, how much content she can just clear on her own, it's actually insane. And that's, that's again, not talking about going into golems. Again, this is a team game. You're building a team. But for for farming and going going into, again, getting your account started from a, from a starting standpoint, this is definitely an Astromon I do not regret ever getting. She's used in too many things. Um... Obviously, we're doing it in PvP. She can farm, solo farm most things on ex extreme. She can go through, you know, some of the golems to get done, some gems uh, solo, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's a nice, um, it's it's a, n a very nice Astromon to build off of, so to speak, that you can do most of the game's content off of. The only issue is, is you gotta pull her, and that's that's the other hard one to to sell I guess to, to newer newer players is while there's a lot of good Astromon out there and it's, it's also you know Dark Persephone's up there <laughs> as far as an Astromon you want and wow well, that went downhill really quick let's try to keep this alive I do not want Sherazad to get her ability off Yikes. Well, I'll just keep everyone alive, I guess. Because Sherazad's now going to give immunity and is going to get that heal off from Hanahime. So, yeah, we're not winning this. I'm just going to. I'm going to save myself the time. Uh, barb taunt pretty tanky yeah this ought to be even more fun I don't see me winning this bottom one either sadly because Odin's just going to keep healing all this damage oh, of course yeah we're done We will not win with fever mode, unfortunately. And I wasn't, I'm pretty sure I can come back and win that one. I think if I swap top in the middle, I don't know what happened in that middle row. Just, just flat out got stunned. And then, uh, I think it was dark. Um, Midsummer Sarin got killed my Yuki. But again, that's the going back to what I was saying is the the dark Persephone, you know, the hair is just one 
one of the Astromon that you add to your arsenal, and it's it's not again going to do the the bigger stuff in the game, like Titans it for your clan and and whatnot. Again, I am speaking in a general sense of how I play the game, and for what I do in the game, Persephone does Dark Persephone does a lot of the heavy lifting. But again, that's why I'm going through the the new account you're going to see the you're going to be able to see what the astromon the game gives you though to do what eventually a dark persephone will do by herself which again i i think is going to be fun and you guys should enjoy watching that kind of progress and i'll have some fun with it too because for me at the end of the day you know when i played monster super league i didn't get half of i got the heroes contract stuff i didn't know what i was grabbing i didn't know what astromon to take i didn't know what was good bad and different and you know it's fun to now impart my knowledge off to you guys to know what what you want to do how you want to go about it so this way you can enjoy monster super league and start building up your team so you can you know, you guys can go off and conquer the, the content that I don't normally, that I don't do. And it's not that I don't want to do them. It's just, unfortunately for me, I don't have have a lot of the uh, resources, so to speak, in I don't pull enough five-star Astromon because I don't have the gems half the time. And that's my own fault. And that's maybe something I'm going to work on too. But with Monster Super League 2 kind of being you know teased a lot um i don't want to here at the end of uh not at the end we don't know what's going to happen but here towards the the back half where monster super league 2 comes out and i want to put all my you know my effort into that uh i don't want to feel like i i get into this and then just abandon it to go you know play monster super league 2 or however that's going to roll out because we do not know and maybe during the anniversary, we will actually get an announcement or something that is going to transition us into the new Monster Super League. All right, we got the stun there. Cool. Um, actually, I should probably do this. So there's no heals and no shield. Well, good. We resisted. I will take it. And there we go. Ten tickets down once again. Let me go check that one though that I lost. So I know. Um, yeah, we might be able to we might be able to swap second with the first. I don't know though. That's a pretty that's a pretty hefty team, especially with them all super ascended too, but I don't remember the top row being too much of a struggle. I think the bottom, the middle row would be fine, but I will leave that to do later once I refresh on some tickets. But hey, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all of you. Again, if you have comments, uh, questions, comments, whatever, down, put them down below. I always try to get to them uh, if I see them. Uh, as quickly as possible and uh, I appreciate you guys watching like and subscribing all that jazz so I will see you all in the next video